Hello everybody, Matt from Brooks Bricks here, and it's about time for another LEGO City update in the city of Brooksville. Stay tuned and let's see what's going on. Alright, hello everybody. Um, I want to do another little city update just to show you some things I'm thinking about doing here and some things that are kind of moving forward and a little exciting. <laughs> so let me kind of pan out to the city as every favorite thing comes through. Monorail! <laughs> there she comes. Alright, so I'm going to get right to it here. So last time I showed off that I had kind of finished off this little area here where the police station, the doctor's office, and the vet clinic all are. Um, if you've been watching my live streams and checked out one of my latest mock videos, you will know that I'm working on a um, office building I'm going to put into this space, so hence the construction vehicles here, kind of representing that. Um, and I also do want to build another building on this 16 by 32, um, similar to the mold of the uh, teal building here, or turquoise, whatever you want to call that color. Um, I think that's going to have a little bit of play on it as well. Although I'm not sure if I'm going to do that much or not. We'll see how it goes, but I do want to have a nice solid core of tall buildings right here. I think that's really going to kind of make it um, pretty cool. So I got that going on. Monorail! And I've really been kind of wavering and uh, just not, honestly, not being able to make up my mind <laughs> about what to do with the next area here in the tail because I know I'm getting close to using up my space. I've already got a bunch of buildings that I've already made they're going to take a lot of the space here before I get to the end of the table where the airport's going to be. But let me just show you all right what I'm thinking at this point. So, we'll have another street here. Um, again, just using some road plates that I've already got. Um, this one practical kind of makes sense for the fire station. This one I'll probably just use kind of some parking here off to the side in that sense. Um, and I can make some other things on the sides here too for some parking and stuff like that. So, since I do have a lot of vehicles and I'm going to need some parking for those as well, Monorail. <laughs> uh, but something, a couple things I wanted to get back into the city, and I'm finally excited to do that, is my entertainment building, which if you don't recall, it's actually been a while since I profiled this in a number of videos. Um, but this entire structure here, this three-story building, is modeled off of a structure that Jang Brooks built a number of years ago. You can check that out on his channel. Um, he's got a music store and laser tag arena, and I loved that build, and I wanted to model something after it, and that's where this came from. This has a bowling alley, um, the middle floor is a comedy club, and the top floor is my nightclub. Um, and there actually is a little alleyway here, which I haven't done anything with yet, but just kind of piecing it out. Just going to be kind of four wide so you can get into the side door here where that little marquee is. Um, this other one here, this one that has a similar... Um, brick structure. This is my supermarket on the lower level and this is the pet rescue and shelter um, with cats and dogs. Now people say, well, why don't you do a pet shop? Well, I've got a pet shop which is over here but this is more for birds and lizards and fish and I wanted to kind of just do something that I felt was a little bit more representative of what I believe in and having a kind of a pet rescue for people to come and adopt, excuse me, cats and dogs. So this is just more something that I prefer as a thing and not wanting to, I don't want to say condone, but, you know, have cats and dogs in pet shops. Monorail. So the entrance to that actually is located right down here. You can see that sign there. Um, so I had, to, I had to put this in a space where you could have access across the two sides. I figured this would work really well. Moving along, the art gallery, I still want to be facing front, because um, as I put more and more things in here, I want to be able to show them from the front, ideally, and I can from at least these side windows too, so at least two out of three, with the preference being the front, of course. So that's going to go there. I'm thinking of putting downtown diner over here, along this other street that I'll develop, and then I think the hospital very large hospital here, Mock. I think we'll go along the other side of the street, maybe in this corner here. 
and there's another T section right here, and then a two set of streets here. Um, but this is all kind of subject to change because I have yet another build that I'm going to do, um, which is the um, inverted assembly square music club store thing. Um, and I think that that can actually fit in here. I could kind of make this just kind of a round, or, um, kind of a cul-de-sac of buildings. So I might actually end up putting that in this corner and then kind of work my way around with some stuff. Um, so I'm gonna see how that goes. But as you can see, before I realize it, I'm gonna get down to this space and then down to here and I've gotta put the airport here. Um, the airport's gonna go in the end here and the monorail's gonna run right down to the end where everything else is sitting here right now, this mess I still have. Um, and then I still have something else to go that's gonna go in this middle space here, um, which will let me hopefully do a little bit more development. Um, but for now, just kind of trying to figure out what else I wanna do in this space that I, I have left. And I also still have my Galleria, which is actually still on the floor, my kind of a mall build. I still have to figure out what I wanna do with that as well. So still trying to pack a lot of stuff in here, um, running out of space. It's kind of hampering some of my decision-making here. Um, but one other thing I did want to show real quick, too. Monorail. Not that. <laughs> is I finally finished off this last little space in Chinatown. Um, some seating, sidewalks, some trees. And it just looks much more... just looks much better. flows a lot better. So I'm very happy with that. Um, I think I decided for now to keep this building, the little business plaza where it is and keep the um, Spring Lantern Gardens in the back there. So I kind of just like how this looks the more I think about it. Um, I did try kind of moving it around. I didn't really like it as much. I'm kind of done with this. But in a future city rebuild, who knows? But yeah. And now let's get some shots of everybody's favorite thing and why they love watching my city updates. I will say there's going to be a surprise coming at some point in the hopefully near future regarding the monorail. I don't want to say what it is, but I'm looking very forward to it. And I think it's going to make it all look much cooler once I get to it. <laughs> I'm just waiting for some stuff. Monorail. All right, folks, I think that wraps it up for now. I just kind of want to present where I'm going with things. And again, I'm kind of getting close to finishing out most of my physical space here, my physical layout. I'm moving down the side of the table really quickly. I'm getting there. And then it's going to be time to move on to a couple of other projects. Underneath of my tables, I'm going to have to clean up a bunch of stuff, too. Um, but for now, I hope you enjoyed this look at my city update and the monorail. As always, I want to thank my subscribers in particular for watching. Really appreciate your support. Please note that I do accept donations on my channel now. Check the link in the description below um, if you're interested in donating. I certainly would appreciate it. Everything goes back into doing what I do and building stuff. Um, if you haven't, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave a comment or a thought below. Hit the notification bell. All that great stuff. And until next time, thanks for watching Brooks Bricks. We'll see ya.